Hello everyone, this is Theme Park Central, and today I'm going to do another episode of a week of Disney. So this is um, a pretty big week of news with Star Wars Celebration uh, contributing to some of that. And then we just have some more general news around the parks, mostly Epcot. We've been getting a steady stream of Epcot news since... Uh, there was a, they're just doing a lot of stuff there. So starting off with the Star Wars celebration news for the parks, meet and greets are coming to Galaxy's Edge. Um, well actually they have already arrived at Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland. Right now you can meet Boba Fett and Fennec Shan, but soon you will be able to meet the Mandalorian and Grogu as well, so this is pretty cool that you get to meet some of the biggest characters in Star Wars, which is nice. Um, but I'm just, I have a few questions, and that's why they couldn't have done this somewhere other than Galaxy's Edge, like it by the Star Tours attraction or something, because these sets don't fit in the timeline, and this is the first thing to break the timeline in Galaxy's Edge, so that presents a problem, and also this has not come, it has, it's not announced at all for Galaxy's Edge in Disney World, which I don't know why that is, it might have something to do with the Star Cruiser, which uh, Disney World has, but Disneyland does not, so that is very interesting, if they were to put it in at uh, Disney World, I think it would be a smart choice of them to go go ahead and put it in the Launch Bay area where you don't have to worry about timelines and you can just put it in, there's probably some empty space, maybe some first order meet and greets that you can get rid of because you already have that here uh, in Galaxy's Edge. So I think you need, uh, if they were going to put this in, at uh, Hollywood Studios, it would best fit in the Launch Bay area. And then, also they've announced that some more uh, missions, rides, whatever, will be coming soon to Star Tours. So that is good news, so now they're going to have a ton of options there for Star Tours. This is likely based off of TV series, which they've done mostly on everything else, so that's really cool. And, yeah, I love that they're doing this for Star Tours, I just wish that they would do this for Smuggler's Run, that's a ride that you could definitely uh, duplicate um, with different missions, but right now they only have one for Smuggler's Run and a ton for Star Tours, so I hope that they change that at some point. And then, going out of Star Wars, um, Disney has filed a permit for Blizzard Beach, so this maybe hints at a new ride, who knows, it'll be very interesting for them to put a new ride in a water park, Disney really does not focus on expanding their water parks at all, um, they rarely add new stuff to them, Blizzard Beach is currently closed, Typhoon Lagoon is open, and the last addition to a Disney water park was a Misadventure Falls and Typhoon Lagoon at least five years ago, so they really do not touch their water parks as much as a lot of people would like them to. It's a very hot climate in Florida, so yeah, I think they should really focus on upgrading their water parks. It might not seem like the smartest choice, but right now they're getting beaten by Volcano Bay by a mile, so yeah, we'll see if this is a new ride or maybe just a fix to an existing one. And then the iCan robot has arrived at Epcot now. He used to be in Magic Kingdom like he had shown in the picture. He will now be meeting uh, kind of by mission space in Epcot to kind of direct guests away from all the chaos of um, Cosmic Rewind. So this is nice, uh, more entertainment for guests, uh, bringing back another meet and greet. So... Yeah, this is a good entertainment, I'm glad they're doing this. And then Cosmic Rewind has opened, um, it seems to be going pretty well, motion sickness, it's still a problem it seems, although I think if you've done all the roller coasters at 
at Destiny, especially like a rock and roller coaster. If you've done that, you should be able to uh, handle this one. Uh, I will be here very soon, and I'll have a review posted about a week after. So, yeah, I'll give you my thoughts on it when I go on it, but I am quite excited to go on it. It seems very interesting. And as far as that uh, virtual queue, um, it seems like it's going pretty good. Um, they're getting through groups a lot faster than Rides of the Resistance. Uh, no breakdowns really are happening. But the Lightning Lane is booking out right away since uh, those hotel guests have early access. So it's very hard to get your hands on the Lightning Lane. So people are just going to have to try their luck with the uh, the virtual queue. So that is going to do it for this week of Disney. Please make sure to subscribe and like. And this is Theme Park Central. Bye.